Uh, Stephen Whiting is Global Chief Investment Strategist at City Private Bank. Brad McMillan is Chief Investment Officer at the Commonwealth Financial Network. Good to see you both. Thanks for joining us today. Stephen, I know your feeling is that the, the bounce we've had economically after the collapse in March and April is over. So now what? Well, look, over for the moment, we'll probably have no job gain close to a zero for August employment. But for the coming year, for 2021, we revised up our U.S. and global growth forecasts. We can come close to 4% growth in the coming year. We have a big pent-up cyclical recovery in industrial activity and trade just to keep up this demand pace. But when you think about what happened over the course of the first and second quarter, we had a record collapse. We ended the second quarter with enough momentum to have a 25% GDP gain. But the real-time activity now with COVID still raging in the United States is flat. So this is all the small picture. The big picture is that we will, in fact, have a meaningful global cyclical recovery when we get past this COVID shock one way or the other. And Brad, the, here we are. We've already established how close we are to all-time highs for the major averages yet again. But the, in Washington, the talks about stimulus have stalled. There's no talk going on right now. Is the market uh, whistling past the graveyard or what's going on here? I think the market sees a lot of tailwinds here. I think we have a situation where it's not that we didn't, that we, the economy has continued to move ahead. We have seen a slowdown. But remember, we just had a material second wave. We had an acceleration and the recovery continued to hold about where it was. That to me says there's a lot of resilience there. And then we have corporate earnings coming in. We have companies figuring out how to make this work. And right. unless you assume that there's gonna be no stimulus, we are going to get some aid eventually. So I think we've got some more upside ahead. Steve, you're the global guy. Uh, uh, U.S. aside, who do you like out there? Which, which countries do you see growth in right now? It's an increasingly wide recovery. Asia has been able to cope all along. But what you see in Asia's markets, particularly in China, is that technology companies, those that have allowed us to adapt to this COVID economy, have performed so well already. When you take a look at Europe, Look at GDP readings that were down twice as much as the United States and the United Kingdom for the second quarter, as an example. Uh, but being better positioned, having COVID slower for the moment, and most of the stimulus will hit in 2021. Right. So we've our weightings there. And basically, like a lot of uh, cyclical companies around the world, if you take a look at the lag that we've had in small cap companies in the United States behind NASDAQ, it's almost 30 percentage points. So it's not that they will be the, the best long-term growers, but there actually is something to rebound from in a lot of these markets. All right. And Brad, back here in the U.S., what do you like sector-wise? I like, I like housing, Bill. I think really? the trend of people moving back into houses is big. I think financials are going to benefit from that in the recovery. Basically, I think you need to fade the recovery on this one. That's where it's going. All right. Steve Whiting, Brad McMillan, good to see you both. Thank you for your thoughts today.